Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate tutorial for SCUM in 2023. So this is lesson two. In um, lesson one, we covered how to craft stone axe, how to craft a bow, how to craft the little backpack and the quiver, and how to defend yourself against puppets using the bow and using the quiver, um, or using the yeah, using the bow and using the axe. And then we, I showed you guys the stamina bar down at the bottom, okay? Now, what I want us to focus on today is just your character stats in the left-hand bottom corner. So, first of all, you've got an eye just to the um, top left of your head. Now, that eye is like a detection system for when puppets or sentries see you it is not a detection system for players so nothing will happen to that eye if um, a player sees you but when a sentry sees you and then of course he's going to shoot at you or when a puppet sees you and then he's going to attack you that eye the meter on the eye will go full so if I spawn in a puppet quickly Okay, you can see she's not looking at us, so nothing is happening to the eye. But as soon as she sees us, look at the eye. Now the eye is full. So the, the great thing about an eye is that you can see if a puppet or a sentry has vision of you without you seeing the puppet. So even if the puppet is behind you, okay, let's say you're looking this way, and then you can see that eye is activated. Even if the puppet's very far away from you, then you can still react and not get hit in the back of the head. Because if you enter abandoned bunkers in Scum, which we are going to cover later in this tutorial, then that eye is going to be very, very important. Okay, so the eye is very, very important. Now, the second icon above your head is the speaker icon. And that just basically shows you the amount of noise you make. Okay, so if you're crawling, you can see you're making very, very little noise. And then if you're walking, you can see the noise level. If you're crouching, you can see. So you can clearly see that crouching is very, very viable when it comes to sneaking around. It's definitely better than walking, okay? And it's a lot better than jogging, and it's a ton better than running, okay? So we can see that noise level on the speaker. The noise level is very, very important because a puppet can detect your noise level as well because she's not reacting right now until I walk. Now she detects me, okay? So, puppets can detect you with vision, and they can detect you with, with sound. When it comes to vision, it's very simple. Around us, we've got a 360-degree arc. If the puppet is looking the same way that you're looking, or the sentry is looking the same way you're looking, they've got an exact 180-degree arc where they will see you. So, although I can't see everything you know, to my right... When, a, when you've got a puppet or a sentry, they can detect everything from right in front of them, okay, to the right of them and everything to the left of them. So they can detect everything in a 180 degree arc in front of them. So if you don't want to be detected by a puppet or a sentry, then you are going to need... To use the arc behind them, the 180 degree arc behind them. And of course, you can use bushes to advantage as well. Okay, so she heard something. She's just going to where she heard a sound. Okay, she ju she's just going to where she heard a sound. But we can use the bushes. We can see when she can't see us. There she sees us again. Okay, we can run through the bush because she's slow. And then we just look at that eye and we'll know immediately when she loses vision of us. There she's lost vision of us. 
and then she's got vision of us again, okay? But because she's slow, we can break her vision of us quite easily by just running through bushes. Okay? And again, she's got no more vision of us. Okay? Okay, so that's the basics of the of the sound and the speaker. Now, okay, so someone else sees us there. And the only reason I knew that was because of the eye. Okay, so there's a puppet over there. Um, the, the puppets can't see you as far as the sentries can. Okay, the sentries can see you at about 100 meters or further because of their height. The puppets can't really see you that far because they don't have the height. But as you guys can see, I'll get into his... There, you know, like, he wasn't looking at me, but because I'm getting into his 180-degree arc, he, d he sees me. Okay, it's very, very important to understand that, yes, they are not directly looking at you, but if you get into the 180-degree arc, they will detect you. Okay, I hear a lot of people telling me he didn't see me, he wasn't looking at me. But you must just remember, there's a 360-degree arc around you, the, the, the front half they will detect you. Now, if we look at the other stats on the right of your character screen, that's your health, okay? You can always go to your metabolism, and then you can get your basic info, like your age and your life, and weight and health. So, the health is full at the moment, and you've got 100 HP, depending on your constitution. So, because we started with the standard character with three constitution, we have got 100 HP. If you take a character with... Um, Two constitution, you will lose 10 HP. So you will only have 90 HP. If you if you start with character with one constitution, you will start with 80 HP. So, you know, that means you're losing 20% of the average health points. And then if you start with a character with five constitution, you will start with 120 um, hit points or health points. Okay, let's call it hit points. And then on the... After that, we get the stamina, which we covered in the previous, um, in lesson one. The stamina basically affects how fast you, or how fast or how powerful you, you perform actions. So, past, you can run, but as you get past, uh, if you get to 5% HP, you, will, you won't be able to run anymore. Okay, so I'm just going to run quickly and I'll show you when it hits 5%. Now, what I quickly want you to realize is that the stamina went red. Okay, so past 30% it's um, blue, but as soon as it go, dips below 30%, it goes red. That doesn't mean you can't run anymore. The reason that that stamina bar is going red is it's warning you that you, you are not effective with this amount of stamina, okay? So if you meet, if you see someone have to, and you have to aim down your sights or you have to fight a puppet or you have to do something or you have to run away, you're in a danger zone regarding your stamina because anything below 30% puts you in a compromised position. For the mere fact that if you have to run away, you won't be able to run away for long. And if you have to fight, you won't really be able to do any damage. And then at 5%, you ca literally can't run anymore. Okay? So if you were in a fight and you try to run away, the, the other person that had 100 stamina is going to catch you and kill you. You cannot run. You can't really dodge. You can't really hit. Okay? So... The reason that that stamina bar goes red is you don't really ever want to be below 30% stamina because like I've told you, it has a major effect on your hitting power and your survival capabilities. And if you want to regain the stamina as fast as possible, just press X and lie on your belly. That will regain your stamina at the max speed 
And then, of course, at the same time, is leveling up your camouflage by just lying down in grass, okay? The second bar is your food. Now, like I told you guys, in Constitution, you get running. Now, the medium running is making it so that we consume 20% less stamina when we run and when we jog, okay? And then it's giving us a 10% speed increase when we jog and when we run where the endurance affects your recovery rate so how fast your stamina recovers so at, with medium it's giving you a 10 percent. but if you had no endurance it would have a negative rate like it would say minus 10 percent reco stamina recovery rate okay if you had no endurance skill if you had no running skill you know the effects would be negative Basic, the effects would be like level and then medium, you'd get this, the, the small increase, and then in advance, you'll have the maximum increase. And then, of course, um, your endurance affects your usage speed on your energy and your water, okay? Um, that's why I say running is the most important overall because you can get food pr pretty easily. And that's the other two bars, your food and your water. And again, at 30%, it goes red telling you you should start making a plan. The only positive thing about the energy is that when you have um, lower than 50% energy, when you're hungry, and you can see now we are, our stomach is empty, okay? So we're in a hundred, it says that occurs when the stomach empties to 10% and energy falls below 50%, okay? And then the symptoms are the stomach growls now and then. Treatment, eat more food. Okay, so it hasn't got any negative effect on you, but it is increasing your dexterity passively. We are literally standing still, and we are increasing our dexterity. And if we move, then we are going to increase our dexterity to the max, which is 0 0.24 thousand. That's the max rate. I don't even have to, I don't have to run. If I jog, I am increasing my dexterity to the maximum speed. So that is how easy it is to increase your dexterity. You just make sure that your um, energy or food, as we call it, is below 50%. Um, Don't let it go you know, to zero. Otherwise, you're going to pass out at some stage. But try and keep it be, you know, between zero and 40%, I would say. And then water... That doesn't have any, like, not having water in your system doesn't have any positive effect on you. But if we look at water, there's a lot of places where you can find water, but you can't drink any water from the ocean. There is a way for you to do it, but I'm not going to show you any methods that's not meant, you know, that the developers didn't mean to be in the game. And then the dark blue water, okay, is um, safe to drink. So... If I just take us to the nearest river here, which is in A1, okay? Then I'm just going to go here. Okay. So now we are close to a water source, which is north of us. Okay, again, compass is helping. The fact that we've got medium survival helps us because... We look at where we are on the map, and then we know we have to go north. And having a compass makes it really, really easy for us. So there we go north. So here we are at the dark blue water. And what I want you to realize is that it says our water is at 26%. But let's go a bit further than that. 26% means there's 123 milliliters in our stomach. So 26 goes into 100 four times. So 120 go, you know, we just rounded off. 120 times four is basically 480, okay? So to fill up your water, you only need about 400 to 500 milliliters of water, you are going to use water as you are running around, but because I don't have a lot of weight on me, your gear weight, okay, 
Gear weight shows how many kilograms of gear you can carry without suffering penalties. And the penalties are very, very important. Max gear weight is directly influenced by the strength attribute. The higher strength, the more gear you can carry. So I can carry 36 kilograms at the moment. With five strength, you can carry up to 47 kilograms without acquiring penalties, without it affecting your walking, jogging, and running speed. Okay, that is the main thing here. So if, for instance, just to give you guys an example, if I have to like just spawn in a log here, I'm going to spawn in item a log, and then I'm going to spawn in a branch, and then I'm going to spawn in a hiking backpack, Okay, so you can see at the moment our gear weight is not at the end and we're not having any major effect on our walking speed. But you will see our performance speed going down. And the performance score is a unit for action execution speed. It influences how fast you can run, walk, paddle, board, like I said. It influences how fast you can run and walk. Um the performance score depends on three things, muscle mass, body fat, and the prisoner's weight load. So the weight load is very important. The percentage is scaled for your current character and your max performance score value can be decreased or increased by altering those three things. So your performance score can be um, changed by changing your muscle mass, making yourself stronger so that you are able to carry more weight, and your body fat. You don't want a ton of body fat. Okay, so our fat percentage is 27% at the moment, but if you keep eating healthy foods, it won't really affect you. But if we take the hiking backpack now, and we put the log inside there, and we put the branch inside there, then we went over the gear weight. So we are carrying 63 kilograms now, where our character actually doesn't want to carry more than 36. So we can still run... We can still play the game, it's not a problem, but we're going to run out of stamina extremely quickly, okay, because we're putting our character under intense pressure, and we are losing a lot of running speed, jogging speed, and walking speed, okay? So it's affecting our character's performance, and that is why you will feel you can run for very long at the beginning of the game, but as soon as you've got a bunch of gear on you, all that changes, and if you want to counter that, then you're going to have to increase your dexterity because your dexterity influences your movement speed and action speed, including crafting, eating, and reloading. Okay, so you want to increase your dexterity and you want to increase your strength to be able to do everything as fast as possible. So I'm just going to take my little backpack again, okay? And now, like I said, because we need like... Only, our, you know, the water only consists of like 500 milliliters of water. If we drink once, we can always go here and see how much water we get by drinking once from a direct source of water. That's 200. We're getting 200 milliliters of water by drinking out of a water source once. We don't get the same amount of water if we drink like out of a water bottle or something like that. But if we're drinking directly from a water source, we are getting 200 milliliters of water, which helps you to not pee constantly. So because we're going to run around, we're going to drink twice to fill up the 400 milliliters here. And then we're going to give our body an extra 200 milliliters of water to work with. Because even if we run across the map, we're not going to put our body under any intense pressure. And then it says there at the water, the usage rate at the moment is only like 80 when we're running, you can see the usage rate goes up, okay? So as we're running, the usage rate goes up, and but drinking clean water counters that usage rate so that you don't really have to care what you're doing because it's only water that gives you an intake rate, okay? The third line there in the little block. The clean water is the only thing that gives you an intake rate of 960 milliliters some other things gives you a higher 
but about 90% of the items that you're going to eat and drink that has some water in it isn't going to give you this amount of intake rate. So if you want to solve your water effectively and play the game aggressively, try and just drink clean water. And then when you're eating food, focus on the intake rate of what that food is giving you. Okay? But for example, if we eat... Uh, I'm just thinking of, uh, of an item that's not going to make a major difference to you. If we eat a raw piece of meat, okay, we can eat the raw piece of meat, and even if you cook it, it's not going to make so much difference, but we can eat a raw piece of meat. This is going to give us a bit of food repulsion if we see food repulsion if we keep eating it, but that's only giving us an intake rate of 200 calories, and then it's going down rapidly. Okay, so clearly we can see that's not that's not really going to help us play the game aggressively. But if we eat a piece of corn, you know, if we eat corn, then it's going to give us a much higher intake rate. So that's 930 calories. That's why I like corn and potatoes because it's giving me roughly the intake rate that I'm getting from water, okay? And then if I'm very, 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 very desperate because I'm far away from corn, then I'll pick up a beer for myself now and then. Because if you drink responsibly just once every now and then until your drunkenness effect goes away, so if we drink a beer once, okay, then it's giving us an intake rate of 2,000 calories per hour, okay? The only problem is the drunkenness effect that can kill you if you don't slow down. But the way that this beer is helping me is by while I'm running, nothing is happening. I'm not using calories, okay? I'm using a little bit of protein, but I'm not using carbs, which is very, very, very important. So I'm still getting an intake from the corn. And again, if you've got any calories, any carbs in your systems, you don't burn through your protein. If you run out of carbs, your body burns through your protein at times five or times 10 the speed. And as you can see, because I'm active, the drunkenness effect is going away. Okay, because I'm putting some pressure under my on my body. So again, if you drink responsibly, you can protect your carbs by drinking a beer or a wine or whatever while the food that you ate that is refilling your carbs. Because if you eat something that gives you carbs and you run actively around, then it's burning through your car. It's it's like burning through your carbs while it's yeah, while your body is taking the carbs. But alcohol acts as a protective as a protective barrier until that beer goes out of your system and then your your body will start using carbs again so if you want your carbs to recover as fast as possible because you're a very very active player drink, take a sip of beer okay until your drunkenness effect goes away take a sip of wine until your drunken your drunkenness effect goes away don't play around too much with tequila and stuff like that because strong alcohol is much better used to clean your rags you can clean your rags with tequila and vodka and stuff and whiskey and stuff like that so use the beer and the wine to um, protect your like they were using our, car, our carbs again okay because the beer effect has gone away so as soon as the drunkenness effect goes away then you're not protected by the alcohol anymore, okay? So those are various combinations that you can do um, to, make sh to, to manage your food and your water. Now, again, if you drink too much water, like there, we're full at 500 milliliters of water, okay? If you drink too much water, your bladder is going to fill up. And then you're going to have to pee constantly, you know? And if you eat too much, your stomach is going to fill up and you're going to get fat. So that covers all the basic stats. If there's anything that you guys didn't quite understand, do me a favor and you know, leave me a question down below in the comments. 
If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please click the like button. And if you want to see future videos, click the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified of future videos. Like I say, I've got about 7,000 hours in this game. I've got about, I don't know, a lot. <laughs> and because I'm 44 years old and I've been gaming since the age of six, I've got a passion for survival games and I've played every single game on the planet. Um, but yeah, I'm here to help you. And I absolutely love the survival game genre. But at the moment, Scum is the best with the person that's got about, yeah, I've, I was playing on a 386 since the age of six. So I've probably got 38 years of gaming experience. Love you guys. Later. Cheers.